Oh boy, so um, it's been a few days and hours. I was supposed to start earlier, actually I was supposed to start yesterday too. I don't know what's happening, but um, you know, I've had a good break. You know, Thanksgiving happened a while ago, like I said. I didn't have me a milkshake and a donut. And I'm ready to start. Yeah, so this is Future Dominic, and I'm telling you right now, ain't no way I'm playing this music. I don't know why I didn't think of this back then when I was doing Miles, because that had a lot of copyrighted music, but yeah. This scene has a lot of it. It's literally playing a bunch of rock, so there's nothing you're missing. But basically, you know, we're a kid, and um, I thought this was a cutscene at first, until it let me move and whatnot. But yeah, that's why it looks like this. But yeah, all I wanted to say was that's copyrighted. As you can see right here, I changed that. I shut that down real quick. And I was not about to handle that. This is awesome. Can I just say how far we've come in gaming? Like, I'm sure we've probably already seen this <clears throat> very commonly in games now, but. I, I can, if I wanted to, I could read this whole article. Like, I can see every word. It's kind of sad because I feel like no one will ever like be able to because they typed all this and it's like, ain't no way I'm reading all this. So I guess you could pause here. But that is crazy. Like the realism, realism in these games is just insane now. And yes, I had to turn that music down because <laughs> we are not going through that. Birthday boy? No wonder you couldn't hear me. Is that your new tape? Star Lord? Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm-hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars, and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. W mom <clears throat> Yo, I don't even remember everything she said, but I know everything she said was good. She literally oh my goodness, like W mom. And I mean she she's hip. She's nice and she offered me cake, bro. Like what what could I be mad at? 
Oh, I didn't even see this. It's crazy. The game's detail so far is awesome. And what a way to start off a hero game. Like, imagine if you started Spider-Man playing as Peter. Oh, oh, uh. Uh. <laughs> I try to be funny, but. Look at this dude. <laughs> yeah. Holy moly. Sheesh. I did not think I would look that bad. Tell me something. Watch the hair. I mean, I know he's like supposed to be rock, but I thought he looked a little better. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. Me, I caught this. That maiden show is awesome. Though with the way that you look at everything, this does remind me of Spider-Man. And dang, I'm glad I'm playing on PS5 because like this is one of them PS5 games. I feel like it's better on PS5. Like not against PS4, of course, because you know I have that too. But. I remember when the PS5 came out, the initial thing everyone was talking about was, oh, it's so realistic, and oh, the graphics are good, and the details in every game is good. And so far, <clears throat> this game is living up to that potential. In my opinion, this definitely screams PS5. Like, everything has triangle in it. You can expect Man, everything. I can't wait to play this. Maybe oh. I can convince Andy to buy it with his paper out money. That's an NES game? Super Mech? Be worth hundreds of dollars someday. Oh my goodness, people really did use things like that. Ah oh man, that's a genesis. Dang, no, that's that's not even a genesis. That's a ping pong, bro. It gotta be Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Yeah, I know my stuff. This screams Peter. I mean, shoot, this screams 80s. Yeah, I knew this was Peter. It's pretty obvious. Cause Three of the natural ones in a row last game. Some bar <clears> turned out to be. I was trying to get copyrighted, to be honest. Oh, the controller vibrating. Need to build up my calluses. This guy is just everything. Dang, look at his eye. What happened? Did someone punched him? Clearly something happened to our dad. If I'm being honest with y'all, I know Peter Quill, like, his origin, but I don't know, like, his origin, that makes sense. Like, I know parts of it, but I don't really pay attention to him as far as Marvel. So, I, I, I don't know if that happens in the comics or not, but... Right spot. Yeah. Oh, he was pretty close. Yeah, we've all thought of that before. Fingers are still cramped from trying to bookmark pages. I know that's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. Why does he walk like that? Am I tripping? Bro looks like he's strafing. What is okay? None of these buttons or anything. Last Getting but not least, fingers, George. He'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. Yeah, I don't think no one talks to themselves like this. I mean, I do, but not like that. I know it's a game, though. <laughs> I don't go to my PlayStation and pick up my controller and say, "Ah, I love this." All right. Whoa, it's like pitch black. Maybe this is just a flashback. Thought we'd at least see our mom again. She's so awesome. <clears throat> Peter Quill, Quill, Quill. Peter Quill, Peter wake up. up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Get out of my face. Mora's yeah. on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Oh, such a vibe. He always had the music playing.
You good, bro? What you fixing? That's pretty nice. Yo, these POVs are crazy. Oh, it ain't just the junkyard. The Look at the TV. The biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Fudge. Ready now? Now? Now, now. If His Majesty will do us the honor of taking his throne. All right. Okay, Let's do it. Here we go. Rocket crew tracks, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. If we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. Here's the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor coats are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal coordinates and our ship's hard-coded serial into a local number generator. Info there. There was so much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. Friend. For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Groot, Quill, suit up. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it, and my skin is not green. It is teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop site. Ground's too unstable to land the ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. Number one, done. Meet you at the rendezvous point. Gamora, take care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Oh, whoa. Can you imagine? I am Groot. What, the pink goo? It's custom nano resin, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. This game is beautiful. I am good. I am good. Nah, can I it's make totally it? Safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk? Uh, I knew I could double jump. I didn't mean toxic, toxic. More, uh, don't put it in your mouth. Oops. 
Scan. Visor works. Sure it works. I checked it right before we left. Did you just put checked it in quotes? What? No. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be a long time editing this video. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous. Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that span the entire galaxy held together by pink goo. Every yeah, it looks like gum. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. I thought we were supposed to jump down there. I was about to die. Whoa, look! Yellow and blue. Looks like an old Nova Corps freak. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like, hey, check out the serious intel I got from uh, shady sources. Flat broke, Rocket. Let's make crash. Need a big break. Aren't you tired of eating yarrow root? It's so... mealy. Listen, this is a restricted zone. Whatever monster lives here, nobody else has one. She got to die? undervalues rarity in her acquisitions. Exactly. You know... I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Yes, it is kind of poetic. Ah, cheer up. Just because the war was horrible doesn't mean there wasn't good times along the way. Yeah, I am mostly talking about stuff blowing up. Whoa! Okay. I'm okay. Ha! You almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. You know... I has like got jokes. This. this is fun. The three of us hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you know who joined us. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a, a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I taking the ship? Maybe. Hey, can't a guy want to spend some quality time with his friends? Dust by now. Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Pass this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Where's he at? Group. You think we can find pieces of the Trion shard in here? Yeah. Uh, you happy, Quill? You found the thing. I told you it was there, but you didn't listen. Ooh, that's a grassy path. Wait, what? Where are we going? Oh, never mind. <clears throat> I like this report so that the efforts and courage of my people may echo throughout time. We have finally accomplished the unthinkable. After generations of war, we put aside our differences and united to achieve our dreams. I am dedicating this message. I am dictating this message from the first installment. Just telling be. Bill, Gary, and Russell. Our pride, the Starburst, everything we suspected is true. There are people out here, countless other worlds, some of them far more advanced, and some of them struggling as we did. We were welcomed with open arms by a group calling themselves the Nova Corps. To our horror, we learned the galaxy itself is currently at war. Belder is, is the right path of the Agus uh, aggressors. A violent race called the Tatari. We requested aid from our new allies, but their rescue force will soon be intercepted by a much larger Tatari fleet. We have decided to rapidly burn our fuel reserves, reserves to reach the Tatari first. In our naivety, we did not notice, we did not notice weapons on Starburst. But she's fast. She is built strong. We will ram their capital ship. Perhaps we can save our new friends. Know this. For a brief, incredible moment. Don't build it for peace. We accomplish everything we set out to do. I pray our sacrifice will make the difference in our final hour. I told you. We Sappy. ain't gonna get caught. You done gloating? We probably will. Where else did we bring our guns? Looky here. See, we're making some money. Dang, it can't go back up. I feel like there's probably something up there. A dead end, alternate path. Are you kidding? I'm okay. Yeah, I told you. I wouldn't say it's worth it though, but. Didn't scare you, did I? No. We're worried. That's cute. Uh, shut up. These games are getting advanced, man. Whoa. 
crappy pair. <laughs> All good, no worries. But watch your step, guys. This junk isn't as stable as we think. Wait, so what's over here? Take that brittle stuff. Reminds me of Transformers Dark on the Moon. Y'all know we played that a long time ago. <clears throat> Ugh. Hey, well, I had a feeling. The unit says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? Whoa. The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last night. Glad I did that. Snows. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the Plarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumb replacing distance should be just up ahead. <laughs> I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. <coughs> uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old wrecks. It was a long time ago, anyway. It is so dangerous here. Whoa. I should have been recording. Written over I want to see if he's alive. I don't know, but he's twitching. Flarkin, Scott Stain. Well, Are you kidding you okay me? Down there? Yep. Yeah, just uh thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Are you kidding? Okay. There's a craft out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Okay, seems like a trophy to me, so we're gonna get more than him. Easy peasy. Okay. Now I'm gonna move freely. Creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. Is that How much of the war did you see, Rocket? Only the bits that happened as I was doing other jobs. Great thing about a war, nobody was paying much attention. Now this brings back memories. Was that our watch? It seems like it takes place right, in the future. Rocket. We've just set up another couple of thumpers. Yes, I got it. Got a trophy. Yeah, he can't clear him. Sure did. Got a diet in hand sheet. Another trophy. Okay, so my game crashed, but uh, we're back at it again. Luckily, we didn't miss too much important stuff. I'm pretty sure I got all the trophies on camera. And all I did was get cooked. That's probably why I crashed. I don't know. Too much data. But uh, what worked best? That did. Last time, my team got destroyed. But this time, I get a second chance. Oh, never mind. They're all down. And basically, what I was saying last time, though, is this game is... I couldn't find the word for some reason, but this game is just like... Ultimate Alliance. It really reminds me of that back in the day. Remember, I used to play that all the time. Nice, it reminds me of this. I'm pretty sure last time I did the left like they're everywhere, laughing at us. And yet, we cannot retreat. No one wants to retreat, big guy. But I gotta say, it's dark and scary out there, Quill. Um. I don't remember what I said. All right, all right, listen. This isn't our first rodeo, guys. Problem is, if we play it cocky, just one little mistake and they're gonna bring us down. Who's with me? This battle is we are. We are. I got it. This ain't our first rodeo, this is supposed to be the first mission. Blow that bitch up. He's getting on my nerves. Hey, we finally get along. I think I made the right choice. Her and him were beefing earlier. 
Restrain them. Getting tied in. All I have is a gun now. All I can do is shoot. Finish her off, Gomorrah. Your magical words have fueled my muscles. Yes, sir. Teamwork makes the dream work. Bring on our monster. I am engorged with the thrum of battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come on. Last thumper spot is this way. It does sound kind of weird. My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No. I'm tracking it on my display. So what are we looking for? Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. Who says I tripped on something? Murder mom probably closed the door behind her. Excuse me? It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never nice view. Oh, he's about to say something slick. Kind of saved him. This is it. Last spot. Can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. We still have to find a monster. monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Ow! I don't even know what's happening. Doing it? I didn't pay attention. What? It appears to be broken. Ain't nothing broke. That's the sound it's supposed to make. What sound? Why is he you can't hear that. Hear what? Oh, oh he's a raccoon. That's the monster that we saw earlier, right? Or never mind, I guess this is a different one. I just realized the one that we're trading might be the one we saw earlier. Oh, this is crazy. He's too fast. You ain't melee in that thing. He's too fast. Oh, crap. The door. We. Oh. That works. Let's catch our monster. Bro, didn't think we would have to fight him, I guess. Could be poisonous. Lady Hellbender will pay extra for this poisonous. What is that? Oh, come on. I hate when there's a why is it white? Whatever. I think it's playing with us. Not cool. That works. I was expecting something bigger. It makes up. Oh, they gotta break speed. it. Let's see, what happens if I just shoot it? Oh there we go. Good thinking, well. No good But it can still run. Gotta be some way to slow it down. Abomination. Perhaps you speak its language. Ugly, smell. Oh. It has more in common with you. Bring him up. How is that supposed to know? Looks like a llama. Oh yeah. This is in the trailer, I'm pretty sure. We captured it. What the <laughs> yeah. fuck is that? Definitely not a monster. It's a fast llama though. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will <laughs> laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? Who is it so much time? State of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. What the? <laughs> you knew it couldn't just be that easy. That's the monster, probably. Seeing what I'm seeing? Yep, that's it. Don't worry, we'll capture his ass. Yes. Now that is a monster. All right. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. Our first boss. What in hell's name is that? that you just took half damage from that. Bots. Oh nah, you better you better tell what happened earlier. 
Damn, we got one shot. Whole place is crap now. Never mind. We gotta get out of here now. Curse these volatile ruins. Let's go. Who was about to make money? Now I pr proved us wrong. Hold on to your butts, people. Rocket, hit the music. On it. Focus on flying, Peter. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. This man a song. Now we're talking. Watch the ship. I'm watching. I'm watching. You ain't. Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Quill instructed. Oh, I was supposed to shoot it. Oops. So arm. Someone give me a hand. Am I right? <clears throat> How about one upside the head? Yeah, for real. That was a bad joke. Um, fitting though. Oh my goodness, this is so fun, bro. It's like those little 80s arcade. <clears throat> I don't know what I was trying to say. It's like those 80s arcade games, except like it's new, you know. Like I haven't flown it. I haven't flown a ship in a modern game in a long time. You don't see them very often anymore. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Here we go. Ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sarduf. Your hell is frozen. Catathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt. Huh? <laughs> see? He's so. Oh. Says, watch out. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. How are they talking as they died? <laughs> It is reminding me of an old game, man. I'm telling you. I know I keep saying it, but it's like, it's so weird. Like, the game is so advanced and it's so new. It's so much new features. It screams PS5 of all the interactions. But at the same time, it's literally just like a PS3 game or something. Like, the way we're flying. Oh, there we go. That's another button. Now is not the time for hand to hand combat. I like how fast it recharges. Oh! Yeah, of course Rocket likes that. We'll make it. We're good. This is being flown by your truly. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, I forgot how beautiful the outside of this planet was. So. How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten. Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Whoa, what happened? Oh, I'm in camera mode? I didn't even know I had that. Yo, every game has this now because they be knowing they look beautiful. Holy moly, look at that. Look at that! Look at it. Honestly. Hold up. Uh oh. Uh, Doesn't look good. Don't Corps, please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Corps. Hope. Uh, did you say how is hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter, Jason, Quill. Really, my middle name? <laughs> hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? 
This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral. I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too, Corral. <laughs> Funny story, actually. The nav crapped out and routed us through the quarantine zone. Your navigation malfunctioned. What can I say? As soon as we noticed the air, we plotted a course out, and that's when you showed up. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Hide Rocket's crate. Peter, you're willing to gamble on a space llama thingy? I'll convince Corel the llama's harmless. She knows me. And I know Corel. Not like I did. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out of this, guys. You just gotta trust me. I am Lord. Oh, and that would be your boarding party. Silence, prisoner. The commander has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? This is right here. Prisoner processing training. Training? Aren't you a little young for the core? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I... I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. Th they're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No. You do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. <laughs> what a jacket. Cadet Man. Gold. No. You know the arrest protocols? First thing we do. First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. The illegal. Stop helping. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, 
Very close friends with the captain. Uh -huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. <gasps> a single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that... They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier grand Raker. Unifier? Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God, All right, pirates. apparently. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. The difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Just to be no. super clear on the mom thing. Damn! I don't know. What the heck? You're too much of a hero. What? I hit it! What a way to go out, man. Are you kidding? She looks dead. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like. Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Oh, see? Uh, this isn't weird at all. Uh, doing great. Okay. No hard. That was kind of amazing, huh? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I had a feeling they'd end up being friends. Thanks. Get me closer to your mom. It's like no. Your mom, right? Come on. We need to get out of here. There's a blast door around the corner. We'll be safe. Okay, Star Lord, I know you're a hero, but that was an idiot. Help me with You're still human. Could have died. How am I gonna work with you? Uncuff me, damn it. Together. On three, two, one. Alright, for a human, you're pretty strong, bro. You literally are handcuffed. You picked that whole thing up. We need to keep moving. This way. Cadet Nikki? Whoa. I knew there was something wrong about that church. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? Man, this is bad. Just give me a sec. Come on, come on. You know, I could probably help with the door if we undid these cuffs. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on. You clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. Damn, what would happen if I did jet boot? I'm in trouble. You're gonna die. You okay? How'd this yeah. even happen again? I'm like, fine. what the heck blew up? You? Oh, dandy. Okay. This way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, yeah, bro. You're fine, ish. I mentioned how usual my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Even aliens have freckles, yes. apparently. Got it. Through here. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. I'm still gonna Peter steal some. You know, no I saw it down saver. there. Okay, Peter. So listen, I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. 
Did you hear me? Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seemed really active. That's probably Rocket. Who's himself make him jump? Anything down here? Clearly, that just showed that I was wrong. Did we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone. We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. You're so sure. petty. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's You're gonna kill missing. us just to impress your mom or whatever. There, see? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. She's a kid. What it's so. worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. It'll get her on. Not that many. It'll get me on her good side. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I um I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogram most of them. You gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Have a personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. Okay. Wow. I knew it. Y'all think I'm just exploring for nothing. Crawling into a dead end. For your information, there's an escape hatch back here I could totally use to run away. But out of respect for your authority, I'm gonna, you know, ignore it and follow your lead. <clears throat> Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know. I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, uh, is, a real spitfire. More like real controller. And bossy. And judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. That robot didn't see me? <laughs> I can't wait to upgrade with Rocket. Yeah, could you please try to keep up? When I get the chance. Try walking around in cuffs. I'm still in charge here, you know. Of course you are. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. Quick reminder that only one of us knows the way out. Could have fooled me. This is an attempt to escape your mom's ship. I really need to know because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. Is this your mom single handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh,. It was a massive team effort. I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth is, I wasn't exactly supposed to. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No, I mean, thanks, but ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly. Never saw me. Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <sighs> Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Damn. We were doing so good. Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously, A-OK, -okay. barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad, running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom, you promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers or sneaking around behind my back. 
Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's I hope that's not my daughter. Breath and it reminds me of Spider-Man Black Cat that in the game. Maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect uh. Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. You can change cutscenes. That is insane. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom. <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Uh. Isn't this like against galactic law or something? Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. Activate. Voice print not authorized. Just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. Well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. I did the wrong choice. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay. I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub level I just found you in. So. There was that system wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. And... No, it wasn't. It seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. She's like Unless 12? you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? It's like I had it. I should. Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. Oh, no. Sh you empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. I'm not. Uh, uh. I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? Not like feelings, feelings, more like emotions. You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war. Oh. That's a lot of feelings to bubble up. Look at that, bro. I'm good now. All these okay. details. Good. Now, if you don't mind. Look, Mom, I, I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage, lockdown. Lockdown, disengage. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can Dang, make it 30 one. cycles. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespass. This reminds me of the quarry. All these PS5 games give you so many choices I now. No I idea. love it. <clears throat> Chewy. I can't believe you still have them. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. 
Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Damn. Now that's weird. I'm an adult. Why would I ask you to? Nab during the war. Twelve years ago when we. Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. The first. Oh. I think I reassured her. This time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still... Whatever it is you're gonna finish that sentence with. You're gonna pay 8,000 units? In three cycles? Wow, okay, that is... A lot of money. I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a class two biohazard wandering around your ship. That's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. Promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. <laughs> I'll just go back to Earth then. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 to... units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we going to get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay. So we got fined. <laughs> We have a Nova <coughs> tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fire slow you down? Damn, I didn't even know that. And you more, killed Thanos you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter <coughs> and cooler. You killed her There's nothing dad. you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> yeah. Next video, I'll probably get some upgrades and, of course, do chapter three. I don't know if I can fit two chapters in the next video. I think that's just because this is when it first started. But honestly, chapter one was long. Chapter two was just short. I was lucky enough. Really, it was just dialogue. But yeah. Thank you all for watching to the end. And this is Daiswa signing out. I'll see you next time, folks.